So solving by factorising when a equals 1, a equals 1 just means that the number in front of the x squared is 1, like in this example. I know that there's going to be two pairs of brackets with an x at the front of both. The reason that there's an x in front of both is because those will multiply together to give us the x squared at the start. And those are going to be equal to 0. Okay, then I need to think about the number on the end of the left-hand side of the equation. What I mean by that is the plus 2, this bit. This is going to be made through multiplication. Two numbers times together to make this. So I'm going to think about what numbers times together to make 2. Well, of course, 1 and 2. Or we could have minus 1 and minus 2. Remember, when two negatives are times together, that will give you a positive. So in this case, which pair are we going to take? Well, we also need them to add together to make minus 3. So thinking about this pair, 1 plus 2, that's positive 3. We want minus 3, so it's not that pairing. So that must mean it's this one. And then you can just double check by doing minus 1 plus minus 2, which of course does give you minus 3. So this is our factorization here. We factorized it, but notice the question is to solve the, the quadratic equation by factorization, not just factorize it. So what that means is to find the actual x values that you could put into this equation and it still makes sense. So put them into the left hand side and you get zero, which equals the right hand side. To do that, you need to set each of these brackets equal to zero, like this. So we'll have x minus one is equal to zero and x minus two is equal to zero. From there, you need to figure out what x is in each of these equations. So we've got some number, take away 1 gives you 0, so that number must be 1. Similarly for the next one, you've got some number, take away 2 gives you 0, so that number must be 2. So these are the two solutions, so we can write x equals 1 or 2. And if you want to double check this after you've got your answer, you could just sub this in to here. So for example, you could do 1 squared, take away 3 lots of 1, plus 2, and then work this out. Well, 1 squared is 1, take away 3 lots of 1, which is just 3, plus 2. Then 1 take away 3 is minus 2, plus 2 gives you 0, which is exactly what we wanted. So we know that solution is correct. You could, of course, do the same for the other one as well. If you found this video useful, why not try the topic exam on our learning platform? Here, you can answer a series of questions and get instant feedback on how you should have solved the problem, both in a written solution format, so you can see an explanation here, or a video solution where an expert will talk you through exactly how you should have solved this question.